Hello YouTube. This is a quick video to show the sat nav solution for my motorbike. I've got this, which is a RAM connecting arm. I have this case, which has a RAM ball on the back. RAM ball. Um, I basically would put my phone in here and use the sat nav app. Now I'm going to show you how I connect it to the bike. You can see here on my yoke, I have this ball. Now, but that basically is just the previous owner had drilled a hole directly through the yoke, threaded it, and I'm assuming he did the same as me, but I can't say for sure because when I bought it, it just had a bolt in there. I had no idea what that was for. Anyway, this cost me about eight pounds. It's just literally the ball on the end of this stem here at the bottom that you can should be able to see there um, and uh, a bolt that goes right through just an 8mm bolt if you don't want to thread your yoke you can always put a bolt on underneath the yoke so basically you get this you put that on there which I will uh, try and do with one hand which may be difficult no nope. I'll put the phone down here hopefully yes you can still see so I will uh, grab the case I will put the arm on the back of the case and screw that just tight enough to grip it. Now I'll pop the other end on the end of the connecting ball uh, on the yoke and drill that just tighten it a little bit loose. So now you can see you've got this solution that kind of holds itself up. Then once you get it in the position that you want, I like to have it kind of I'll put that kind of sideways like that. I like to have it pointing quite upwards and quite low, like that, so I can still see my yokes. And then you literally, my clock, sorry, literally just, uh, if you can see down there, I just tighten the thing. And there we have a very solid sat nav solution. So I'm going to put you people in the sat nav now so you can see the view. Going in the sat nav case, Oop. covering the camera a little bit there. Okay, and there you are, you're in the case. Um, so, yeah, well, you're out of the case now. Very simple thing. Um, it, I think, all in all, the case cost me about I think 15 quid, the connecting arms about 6 quid, the thing was about 8 quid, so all you're looking at about 30, 35 quid for a perfect solution. I've tried loads myself in the past, um, I've looked at, I've had the ultimate add-ons one that kind of sits just on the end of a handlebar or it'll wrap around a normal handlebar um, and to be honest it's a pretty rubbish solution, I found the box just kind of split open. Um, I've tried the um, I've tried the ones where it's like just it's not a waterproof box it's just a thing that kind of clamps your iPhone in place I didn't really like that because it actually snapped while I was riding and I had to grab my phone um, this is definitely the best solution because um, you can see even if you don't want it in that position you can just loosen that a bit if I want it to be a bit higher I can put it like that or I can put it any any kind of direction that you want it to be um, you can put it close to you you can put it far away from you it's it's definitely the best solution but you can see how much it moves there and literally wherever you want it tighten that bolt at the back and it'll stay in place perfectly you can see when you're actually riding it doesn't really vibrate at all either I mean it wobbles now because I'm wobbling it but when it's zipped up and there's a phone in it it's very stable 